everybody, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, the Art Sherpa. This is Ian, the off kilter crafter. Say hi, Ian. Hey, everybody. <laughs> On the mic today is my husband, John. Hey, guys. He's going to be tracking us with one of our many cameras. And today, first, happy Thanksgiving. Very much. <laughs> we just finished ours. We just finished eating, so we're ready to do a craft. And we're going to do a healing restorative project, and we're going to be combining two crafts. So on Ian's channel, he does uh, paper art and a lot of cricket, yep. like a lot, of, a lot of cricket stuff. And so he brought over a stencil for us to use. If you check the link below the description, there's a link to the website. The website has all three videos from today and also the free cricket pattern if you have a cricket or just the PDF and you can trace. It's actually the SVG files, so mm. you can use, if you don't have a Cricut, if you have a Silhouette, if you have, I think pretty much any paper crafting machine, you should be able to use that file. That's outstanding. And that's just there, ready for you to do. So we're gonna start this up and uh, I'm gonna be showing Ian a lot of new things, but first I want to gift Ian his own set of Galaxy wow. brushes since we're doing some galactic stuff. Oh, sweet. Awesome. You know, we can do this. What? A couple clouds. I'm going to show you how to use them. Okay, good. And your very own number eight bright, because I think that's a good size for paper crafting, like oh, if you're doing you. stuff. Awesome. So, I figured those were tools he would enjoy in his own studio at home. And then also, these are his, so you can open them up and use them on this project. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you. All right. So, if you check the, the description below, we have the materials listed out. We're going to be actually demoing um, Holbein paint today, which I'm excited about. It's very fine acrylic. <laughs> Ain't. Ian's all brushed up. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Let's He's go. ready. So it's 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 really loved by a lot of graphic artists around the world. Wow. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna get started. We have 11 by 14 canvases here. I'm gonna put out the rest of my paint real quick, and I'll tell you about the colors. Almost got my handles in there. What's going on? They just all want to be my paint. Do you see them? <laughs> all right. I'm gonna put out my titanium white and my zinc white. Um, I also have in the description um, fluid white and that's for the stars. I just find I have a better time doing stars with that. And we have pouncers and I have an optional sponge because, you know, I'm getting in to put in some nebula, some space stuff because we're going to be doing this whole dream catcher thing. And so I've got that there. All right, I've got this out. So this is phthalo blue, that's purple. Primary magenta, primary yellow, primary cayenne, zinc white, and titanium white. And I can always tell when I do my zinc white because when I rub it between my fingers, it disappears. Where if I do my titanium, it doesn't. So Ian's is labeled. So he doesn't have that problem. It is labeled, and I may have to have you <laughs> reference it. A my new bit. fancy paint towels. You're ready to fancy paint towels. <laughs> oh, yes. You got these All earlier right. today. So let me give you a big brush to be painting the background, and you may use one of my number 30s. This is a weapon. This is a weapon. Is you need to put that aside. we got to put in our intentions, though. So oh, the yeah. first thing that Ian and I are going to do is we're going to write something on this canvas that we're wanting to let go of and, and move away from. So we're putting things that we're wanting to let go of. Just release. You know, it could be something that you're struggling with. It can be something that you're going through, somebody you need to forgive. Just whatever it is. Pain, illness, you just put it there. This is what you're moving away from. All right. So <laughs> the next one we're going to do is we're going to put something that we're super grateful for and we're super thrilled with right now. So this is what we're doing. We're quietly being introspective and grateful. <laughs> I forgot to narrate. <laughs> it's okay. These are personal things for us. Yeah, so. it should be personal. It should be something that, you know, you've got going on that you're just really, you know, intimately dealing with. And the last one is something that we intend and hope to have happen in our future. So we've done that. We've got it. All right. 
So we put our, you know, our past thing we're letting go of. We put what we're grateful for right now. And we put something we want to move to. And now that we've done that, we can sip our water. Mm. Yes. Sippy, sippy, hydrated. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to paint in the background. And this is going to be a little different because we'll really be showing Ian how to do this because you don't paint like a lot, a lot. No. Pretty much only when he comes on my show is like his painting time. So <laughs> I'm kind of throwing him into a higher hoot. This might be like closer to two hoot, but I'm right here. So I'm going to walk him through it. <laughs> I'm glad because I wasn't expecting a two hoot today. <laughs> two hoots are happening. <laughs> Just because it's space and sometimes space needs layers. So, first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to take my number 30. And I'm going to dip it in my water and drag off the extra, extra water. So that the brush is damp but not wet. And it's just, can we feel? You're good? Yeah. So I'm just not pulling a lot of moisture. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to pull a little of my Doc's Purple and a smidge. See, I'm going to get with the corner of my brush some of my Thalo. I'm going to work those together. I may need to dip just the edges of my bristles oh. in the water, not much, to thin it out. And I'm making, this is my deepest space color. Okay. okay. You're working from the outside paint plop. You're doing great. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Then we're going to come right on the canvas and we're going to, in this upper sort of region, we're going to just paint this in. And you're just trying to cover all the white in your words. And then you can be like. I feel like I'm going to damage the brush. If I do that would be that. really hard. Okay. So you can just come in and angle the brush. Uh -huh. So you're just at this sort of angle and then you can easily scumble it, but it doesn't disrupt the bristles. It's a weird thing you might not know. So when I'm running out of paint, I dip my brush in the water again. I get a little more thalo and a little more dots. And I just come back and sometimes I'll be more thalo, sometimes I'll be more diox, but what it's going to be, sorry, I'm painting on your canvas no, a little fine. bit. I feel like I'm going to smack you with this brush, so we're good. So this is, um, <laughs> short handles would be more ideal for this type of project. <laughs> if you're in close quarters or sitting at a table, you might want a short handle brush because I am back. <laughs> no, I'm like, oh God, I'm going to hit her. <laughs> All right, see, I'm just going this. And so something you can do is you can drag the brush across your canvas in a smooth swoop to smooth out that surface and get rid of any of those like really obvious brush marks. So same thing. I'm going to just do this through the whole canvas. Just these two. This is like my favorite base space color. <laughs> Sorry. It's so okay. <laughs> I'm so in Ian's grill over here. It's okay. See, I Painting just, party extreme. <laughs> <laughs> it's like extreme sport. It is an extreme sport. Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> so I'm just pulling those out, pulling them out. You're doing good, you're doing good. You're getting a little wet, but you're doing good. See how much water oh, yeah. you have there? Yeah. So I call that the lake. <laughs> and actually, I might show your palette if I can. Yeah. Let me pass it over to me and I'll bring it over to my palette cam. So it's the dragging the water off or dipping less, and okay. I'll show them. So right okay. here, do you see how this is very, very wet? I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the lake. That would be too much water on your brush, and it's going to give you, your paint's going to be transparent yep. and more of a wash than a cover. So it's just a balance. The thing about painting is it's a, it's the, I'm so all over your canvas. I feel really bad. No, like no, I'm, don't be. And I'm, like, I'm all over you, so it's okay. It's, it's fair. <laughs> And in, in this, you might want to consider, like, just, you know, creating this nice little... Actually, that's going to be nice, actually, with the galaxy. You're doing pretty nice. I like that you went more to the purple. I'm feeling more purple. That is the poll winner on my community tab. Because I have the community tab on my YouTube channel. Uh-huh. Brag or anything. Just saying I have the community tab. <laughs> <laughs> anything where I get to talk to people that are painting, I'm pretty excited to be doing it. So I really like what you have. I'm liking that. That looks really cool. So I think you're out of paint. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you have it and it's like showing a lot of canvas going through and right. you're working really hard, you're just out of paint. Just yeah. I've seen people go a really long time with no paint going, I don't know what's happening. I'm like, there's no paint. Paint will help. Paint always helps covering the canvas.
No, you're doing perfect. There's no speed. Speed painting. One I'm just really fast because usually. Is speed painting a thing? Well, there's art battles now that are timed, and you have to come and you just paint raw there in front of sort of like a coliseum battlefield, and what? Yeah, and wow. then they judge it, and there's a winner, and. How do you I don't know. It just seems like I really like my art practice, and that just feels like a way to ruin it. <laughs> well, I was really happily painting, but now I feel all this pressure to perform and be good and awesome. And and the one, if you want to get the edge, one of the ways you can do it is go back and forth like that. And then wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So if ever you're in a stuck place, you're like, I can shimmy you here. And then you just brush it all out. Like, so when we're rinsing it out, I like to... Take it into the cup, and I, I actually hit the bristles a little bit on the bottom. Yeah, just a little bit so it's knocking the paint out. Okay. I drag off the extra water, and this is where my paint rags really start to get to work. Because I take this, and I wipe this, and I put it to the side till I can wash it. Okay. Now, Lady Fair was asking, uh, is, is this one canvas or two? Or you guys, is this a this couple? This is two layout? canvases. It, it's, it's two. Uh oh, I want to. I see that you're my easel. Gotcha. Oh. Can I come up and get you? Yeah. Oh. Uh Wait -oh. for you to go home with like a big white <laughs> spot on your canvas. <laughs> this is because of the easel that we're at. But yeah, these are two canvases, eleven by fourteen. And we're doing something cool. I hope. I, well, we'll see. I mean, I'm like, you may not be so happy. With it's mine, just but. art, so <laughs> it'll be all right. So at this stage, uh, we're, we normally let it dry, and maybe we'll just say hi to everybody real quick while okay, we're letting sure. this dry, and then if it doesn't dry quickly, we'll hair dry it. Excellent. So that's hi. stage one to our project. I hope you're having a very good Thanksgiving. We painted a background, darkish <laughs> blue. It's, it's, it's pretty. It is pretty. How are they doing, John? Good. They're all enjoying the show. They're having, lots of people are enjoying. They've had a really good Thanksgiving. And, and you know, wow, we got over 250 people here already just coming to hang out and see what's going on. Whoa. So, yeah. <laughs> we kind of expected to be by ourselves on Thanksgiving. Just, yeah. just a couple people. So, that, hi, yeah. everybody. That is yeah, really still cool. Coming, they're still coming in the room here. So, it's just wow. been. Notifications yeah. go out when YouTube you know, deems them. Although, you know, I, it's, there's no telling how many people have been here because we kind of do that wave where we go up and down and up and down. So, I have no idea, like, you know, where mm -hmm. we're at in our cycle because it's. Jimmy and my paints. But, but, yeah, we're. The, there seems to be a lot of folks out here having a good time chatting about their Thanksgiving afternoon and having a good time watching you guys paint, thinking it's uh, pretty cute to see the two of you go uh, go there together at that um, that paired canvas there. This is something you guys should do together. This is so cool. All right. So it definitely brings you closer to your friends. It does. Mm -hmm. Literally. Mom. So, Mom. So, Mom. We're so, like with, the, uh, with long handles, and you're like, why do you have long what? handles, Jeremy? Who said no long handles? I'm poking like, your yes. eye out. But it's I'm like in... that Red Rider, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like the kid who wanted the Red Rider BB gun for Christmas. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna poke your eye out with that. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. So yeah, you know, space is a consideration when you're deciding on your materials. <laughs> so you guys are playing a variation on that uh, that summer game where you tie your feet together and run with the potato. Mm -hmm. Oh you're, yeah. You're, you're gonna tie your yeah. feet together and paint a painting. I think so. so I think that's... definitely so. Well, the first thing I'm gonna dry this. Okay. And John's going to say hi to them first. Now, you, now you're leaving me alone? Because it's still wet, and we, we want to get to the next thing. Well, you stall longer. <laughs> you're stall okay. Longer. Okay. Well, I guess since I'm, like, alone now, I'll switch over because I control the cameras, too. So I'll just say thank you guys for coming. Yeah, as you guys are still coming in the room. So thank you guys for coming and hanging out today. You know, it's a very special day where we get to give thanks for all of the, you know, things that, uh, present in our life and you know I just wanted to say thanks to you guys for coming and being part of our art tribe and you know <laughs> you know um, you know coming in and choosing to spend your time with us uh, it's pretty magical that uh, so many people choose to spend their time painting with us and just together in general so you there know, thank you go. guys for, Isn't for that being part lovely. of that. it's pretty awesome okay you're gonna have to open your galaxy set. Right. What are you What are you doing over there? So, uh, Ian's gonna open his galaxy set. I'll probably have to be telling him how to remove the sticky white I, stuff. I didn't cue any music. It's rubbing alcohol. <laughs> if they don't come off. This I don't have like a drum roll. What is it? ASMR. The yes. Accessory. Listen to the crinkling of the packaging opening. We are very happy to be bringing painting to you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just 
just tear it. It's okay. I mean, if you're a scrapbooker, so you should probably keep the paper bits. Oh, I'll keep the paper bits. Yeah. Uh, you, could, you, you could cut them. Okay, so you're going to notice that Ian has discovered the white tacky film okay. of death. This is the, this is oh. the, they're not No, escaping. they all do this. Okay. And here's the deal. Um, it comes right off with uh, rubbing alcohol. But it's so easy to clean up. You just have to know what takes it off. Some of the acetone can mess with the paint, and the sometimes the I like the goo gone, but sometimes the goo gone can mess with the finish. So that that's how I will get this stuff off for Ian later. Is I will show him how to get. You can you can do it with your fingers, but it's just rubbing alcohol breaks down the bond of all that. And so put your brushes to the side. All right, you ready? Ready? Yes. Okay, I'm going to give you some, this is fluid white paint. Now, this is how I like to use stars is I start with this product. You can thin your paint down with water, but what happens is you get different densities, viscosities in the water. It's different mixes, and then some of it goes clunk, and some of it goes splatter, and you can get these weird streaks you may not like. If you want it, it's awesome, but if you don't want it, it just is not fun. Okay, yes, you're open. So I'm going to pour some of this out. So you can see it's a different, that's called soft body. Craft paint, by the way is uh, same body. If you think about it, craft bottle paint, this just has a lot more pigment and craft UV protectors. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. right. So you take the brush, right? Brush. You're going to take your brush. And I like to dip it. I go dip, dip, dip. You're going to get your hands messy, by the way. Okay. So dip it in. And we're probably going to end up splattering each other a little bit. Yay! And then once it's here, I very carefully come through with my finger and sort of just make sure I don't have any weird spots. All right? Okay. That's fun. Yay. That's what the towel's for. Right. <laughs> From about here, I'm going to just softly pull back and flick Whoa. my bra. I know. I love that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I know. Years of my life trying to get good stars. I just needed to meet a brush maker. Oh, I just. Oh. But that's okay. I can show you how to fix. We're going to have Galaxy, so it's not even a problem. So I have some rinse your. Now, here's the thing about these they don't love water. So you just rinse it out as quick as you can, and then you dry it off. It's because the filament that we use goes uh -huh. right into this wood. We're looking at some different stuff, but that's why. So you just can't. So can't stick it yeah, there. but I've soaked a bunch of them and they and they've lived. So really, I just need that filament. So you've got this weird yeah, spot, but we're gonna be doing galaxies. So what's wonderful about weird spots? I have a number eight uh, bristle. And I'll give you another. Uh, here you go. That works on. This is a Cambridge. This is a number eight Cambridge. I like this. We're not even going to get this wet. Because this is such a good scuffly little brush. And you can come right here. I take the corner of my brush. And I'm going to just get a little cloud form. Because by the time we're all done with our galaxy, <laughs> who's to say there's not a nebula? Oh, look at your nice little cloud. See? And how we just dry brush this just right out. And it's like, oh... Wonderful. It's not even a thing. So anywhere you have one that you're like, I'm not sure how I feel about it, you can just make it some space. <laughs> make it some space. space. And then I just rinse that out and dry that off and keep that around because I really like it a lot. It's one of my favorites. Okay. So I'm going to do a weird thing. I have a uh, sponge here, and I'm going to show you a couple ways that we're going to get this because we're going to see... Let's do the sponge mm. <laughs> method or brush method. Really messy, but super fun. All right. Okay. So the trick is I get this kind of wet. We're going to have to share a sponge. Okay. And I'll demo some, and then you can do some too. And I'm going to come, and I, I like my zinc because it's transparent. It may not be strong enough, so I'm going to test it. And I'm going to just... Tap in using the weird shape of my sponge, a little sort of nebula shape. And I like to make them uneven and kind of random. I don't want to clone it, which is like, see how that goes point, point, point? That's a little cloney, so I got to do something about that. And this is my big cell one. I had this really ideal small cell one, but really at the end of the day, I still think it's cool. Yeah, it's kind of. I'm just tapping and like it gets thin. The titanium white is very opaque. So as you can see in the stars, so sometimes, you know, 
yeah, you can see through it a little bit, and then when we start glazing and putting in some other colors, and we'll, we'll define some of it with our, um, there we go. Has that you? You can give that a go. Zinc white, and it's sometimes nice to tap it into the palette a bit, so that you're kind of like tapping it off. You do this in card making a lot. Yeah, it's the same thing. You're just offloading a little bit of paint, so you have control over how much is going here. And then, just, kind of and you just want to make sure, like I've got, you know, I've got this little reference here. I'm just got a little some galaxy shape here and some galaxy shape here. However you want to do it, it's your space. You know, this is your Doctor Who adventure. Right. right? I'm all for that. So you just want to make sure that you make shapes that are random and don't clone, because I got all clony there. And there's a lot of types of nebulas and stuff. Right. No. I would smooth that out because they're kind of dots. There you go. That's kind. Of, that's a kind of shape. You could add a little shape right here. It could. That's it could. Kind of shape. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> that worries me, cinnamon. I wouldn't have done it like that, but okay, sure. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> oh, that's that's really nice right there. I got it. It's a shape. It's another shape. There's some shapes in space. <laughs> shapes in space. Well, look at you. You got some paint on canvas. <laughs> Sometimes that's the win, man. Yeah. Ooh, Heather G just said, uh, said uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving from the Big Island. So oh, nice. I would take that, like, maybe up here. Our heart is with right. you. Kind of an art. You know, space winds are... Blowing it. What? I'm sorry. Heather G said what? <laughs> they're, they're in their backseat own. Backseat painting. They're in their own <laughs> galaxy out there. Oh, that's nice. I like oh. that little kind of curl up. Okay. See, it's a very space. It's space winds. So sometimes it's nice to blow space winds through your canvas. And then what I'm going to do is acrylic paint is very damaging to your natural. You can get these craft sponges like at a lot of locations. Um, oh. <laughs> we're going to ignore that. It's fine. It's fine. I think that's fine. So I just put it in a jar of water so that the acrylic paint is drying. We're just going to ignore the whole mess that I made there. It didn't even happen. To... I almost did what you always say not to do hmm. and grab your paint water and start drinking from it. I almost <laughs> just did that. Uh, well, we're not painting with that poisonous of paint today, so that's okay. good. Hmm. We didn't we didn't bring the poisonous paint because we had company. Maybe you don't know. <laughs> Use your lead white when company's over. Right. <laughs> Especially when serving cupcakes. Uh, not an R white. You have to pay good money for lead and white. Good, good. It's very expensive. Very Because exp it's hard to make. All right, I'm going to dry this a little bit because when I show you how to use the cloud brushes, mm -hmm. it really helps if the surface is completely dry. John's going to say hi to them and tell them how much we love them and are so glad that they're here for Thanksgiving. Okay. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys. You know, uh, don't forget to, to check out our website. But we're gonna have uh, we have links to all of the uh, that like the cut files and traceables and all the information for this for this project. I know that um, Ian brought some uh, some special files over for us so that if you have a cricket, you can get you can cut them. Um, and. Uh, uh, <laughs> The uh, uh, so we made sure that we had all those resources for you. And we put them up around the site, uh, so don't go over to check those out. So let's get your new okay. brand new cloud brush. And my two cents on this is is that I like to kind of work. That's the small one. You need oh. the bigger one. Yeah, that's the detail. Oh, gotcha. Right. Get it right. There we go. So I just kind of move it around with my thumb and get it loosened up because they're very tight when they come. They're like. Stiffer than you think, and I kind of smush them between my fingers, and I just work them, especially if it's new before I put it to a canvas. There, it's such an indestructible brush. This is actually good for it. Really? Yeah. Wow, I feel like I'm doing something bad. I'm but yeah, you're not. Oh, yeah, I'm not. So let me show you how to load it. Like that's a repeating code. You want to jump yep. on them before you even. So this loads a little weird. Um, one of the things is if you come right here and you get that much paint, that's a lot of paint for this brush. A lot like your sponge, you need to kind of offload some of the paint so you have just this nice coating so when you get it loaded and I'll show you the brush stroke yeah that way you don't get too much because you get too much it'll mess you up 
But if you don't get enough, you will only get very light airy thing. Now, yes. Okay. This brush is not good in the vertical. Okay. So a lot of people want to go like that, but what it does is it twirls on its point, which is not one's favorite. However, this brush is fantastic on the angle. So you put it at an angle, mm -hmm. and you just make little kind of swirling, scruffly motions. It's like a little scrubber. And I like to take it and go like, woo, we got a little air. And see, it just makes a very light, soft edge. And just move along. I'm going to get a little more zinc. Oh, it's pulling up the... Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. It can pull up a little pigment underneath. OK. That's Especially the, if it's not completely dry. Okay. But on the nebula, that's completely ideal. So again, I've got this nice angle, layers. and I, I make little circles, but sometimes I like to flick it out a little bit and make little space winds. See? So little windies in my galaxy. The singing helps. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying <laughs> it helps. So we're just softening some edges, right? Okay. And you just push it out. Push it out. You can even push even even yeah, like right? yeah oh, wow. look at that you can go as hard that heart sorry oh, okay. that like so you're going back and forth yeah, try to get true. like a little circle and then every once in a while edge that circle out so this is like this is called scumbling mm -hmm. in painting and it's really hard to find a good scumbling brush because <laughs> they need to be kind of stiff and usually you pick your most beat out brush because then it doesn't matter if you damage it anymore right. but this is such a like crazy little workhorse that you know it will just go now it does like where you have wet paint where it's slightly wet can get kind of sticky and you have to really think it out and force it through and then i like to try to find the line in the cloud that i put in and just sort of you know talk about that a bit Some nice hard edges and soft edges and that's always fun i'm like wonder over here Wonder, wonder. You go like that. Wonder, wonder, wonder. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to make circles. I'm going to make circles. I'm going to do this. So you got vertical again. Oh. And it stops being effective. So you've just got to be on that foot. It's like a deer foot stippler, which is a sort of angle brush. You're just on the foot. And then paint can dry. We're, we're just at a weird angle here. We're just having a hard. There we go. Okay. Ah. Paint can dry on it. So every once in a while, you have to <laughs> rinse it out and dry it off and start again. See? So you got to go, woo, woo, woo. Are you getting a little wooey? <laughs> That's a little wooey. Look at you. It's doing some crazy stuff. There you go. Now rinse out. Oh, yeah. You're having a little woo woo moment. <laughs> so I figure these will be good for you in your crafting, too, because if you ever need to scrub something in or yeah. scrub a pigment in or dust. Yeah, these would be perfect for um, purple pearl. Mm hmm. All right, so I just keep getting my little zincs on here, and I just find little areas that I'm going to talk about my galaxy more. Sometimes I puff it out, so I go, well, yeah, and then I come back, because I'm trying to make interesting cloud-like shapes. Yeah. It's all fine. <laughs> so you've got a lot of paint on there. Yeah. Can I show you some? Yes. Of may, you may I show you? Yeah, of okay. So you've got this really sort of interesting little shape here, and so I just want to... Little motions. Then we're going to come here. And Being random is hard. Being <laughs> random is super duper hard. I'll give that a little shell. Because yeah, it's like, there and it's very spacey. So you're doing really good. You just got, like, you got your circles going, uh -huh. but you forgot to kind of randomize and soften your edges. I go back and forth sometimes, and then it's little circles, and then. Everybody thinks you're doing great, Ian. Well, thank you're you doing guys. great. Thank you. Ian does amazing. So this is one of the more challenging kind of paintings to do. Just because it's like asking you to work a lot from your, like, your imagination space. Well, that's nice. You got nice. Woo! I like your zoo! Circle, 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 zoo! Also, believe it or not, you're helping me right now. Okay, good. Because I'm seeing how you, like, I know how I use these. Yeah. Right? When I got sent these to test, right, I was like, oh, my gosh, 
It's this gumbo brush that I can't destroy. I'm so excited. I could do all this dry brushing. You know, but yeah, I didn't have the chance to like, uh, you know, put it in the hands of somebody I brand, brand new. Doing. Yeah. <laughs> brand, brand new. Who's like, I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just creating some densities here, like some shape and form. I come back and make another. Like if you think about clouds, they have like those weird little banks, and then they have other little banks because they've got the little updraft. And these now, are space gas, though. Now, so cinnamon. They can do other things. Well, they can do, yeah. uh, a, uh, they were asking here. So a scumble is more of a, like a scrubbing motion, mm -hmm. and a stipple is more like a tapping motion. Yeah, a stipple is a tap. A scumble is a scrub, and dry brushing is not having a lot of water in your brush. So we're okay. doing kind of a dry brush scumble. Gotcha. Look at you go. It's all it's getting fluffier. <laughs> I like that right there. It's really nice. So I like um creating with friends like Ian and I are right now in, in this sort of space where you're both arting and you're just doing your thing. It's um, really collaborative and very connecting. People are starting to see see things in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of scared to ask what they're, what they're seeing. Well, there's a bunny on yours. Oh, you have a bunny? There's a bunny right there in the middle of your canvas with the ears up. Bunny. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once it has been seen, it cannot be unseen. <laughs> yeah, forever now. I'm gonna be like bunny, bunny. I like these weird little mistakes that we had earlier. Yeah. That have turned into these kind of airy little nebulas, just in their own little zen zone. Super fun stuff. So you can see how this is kind of nice. How transparent this white is. Yeah. It's a very nice. Uh, very nice product. And most whites are so opaque that they overwhelm your color and take it into a pastel. But this actually just uh, like lightens it, but doesn't take it necessarily into pastels. I feel like I got a little lippy there. Like there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I keep finding spots where I'm like, wait, that's too. The same. The same, yeah. Yeah, that's what you'd be like. I can't be the same. I gotta be unpredictable. I like to think of Jackie Chan. Oh, what yeah. would the great drunken monkey do? He would shoot a cloud at. See? Yeah. Shoot a cloud in a random space. That's what Jackie Chan would do. Whenever you're like, how? Like I'm stuck in these trees. You'd be like, what would Jackie Chan do? We zig up here and he'd go down here and he'd twirl. Generally, that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, I hope for you to get to paint with him. Oh. And then and then he'll get to 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 poke fun at you, and be <laughs> like, "I'm gonna art sherpa it." <laughs> I think probably he'd be mostly like, "You need to get on a treadmill and do something." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys are crazy. He's a little committed to fitness. <laughs> just a little too much. Let me just take those. Where it makes us happy. Wherever it makes you happy. Just find your little space. You made dry brushing. You have random airy edges. You got good splatter stars, and you didn't have to do them one at a time, which just takes forever. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. splatter is really hard because you don't know what you're going to get. And so people like to go one at a time so they don't mess up their whole painting. You're doing good. You're scumbling. Yeah. It's just a nice way to make like a thin sort of dried glaze. Now, you did that around the edge. I also kind of went, yeah, I went in the body of this uh -huh. a bit. It's fun. We're just hanging out, so. Whatever. You know. What else? I'm going I'm to sip my water and. They're like chilling and <laughs> not really snooping Martha, but I think we're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you're making a darker area, see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally fine. There's really nothing you can't like work out or like work into some space or. It feels weird having to brush those lines. Yeah. Like for, for me, I'm like, wait, I'm doing this wrong. No, oh, that's it. Great. Creates little little areas, and then you can even like create an imaginary line that kind of wanders down. Like if you if you decide that that's a bank, then it can wander and then go back and wander and. Oh, And they're just like, that's pushing forward. Because who knows what force is in space? You do, because you work at the museum. <laughs> <But> <laughs> you teach a STEM class. But I'm just saying, there's some forces in space pushing <laughs> gas around. And that's entertaining. Gas is always entertaining. Gas is always <laughs> entertaining. So where you're getting, like, where it rubs out like that, uh -huh. that's just, like, getting more vertical, so you just angle right. back. Mm -hmm. And generally, you know, <laughs> Generally, you would move the canvas, but we're like tapped in here, so we got to move ourselves. Oh, that's good. That's a good bank. Look at you banking it up. Yeah, a little bank. You're getting it. You can see how if you mess with this a little bit, like yeah, this thing I could, is. I could like see myself spending hours just working on that. It it's fun, and if yeah. you use if you use a reference, then you can follow. It's like lines, yeah. and totally get it. And all those NASA photos, I think they're Creative Commons. So you can use all those NASA photos mm -hmm. as reference. Your tax dollars help you. Yeah. Cool. Making art for NASA. It's okay. So normally we would turn the canvas <laughs> and keep moving the canvas, so you were always in a comfortable position to get any of these. Ian's tall. 6'2", <laughs> so I'm a little taller than the Sherpa. A little bit. Everybody's taller than me. You don't have to turn around. You can keep painting. I can turn around. <laughs> so we're just trucking along, doing our thing. Oh, of course, my mister is as far away from me as it can be. Hold on. I can reach it. Oh. You probably actually could have. <laughs> I might miss you again. I might slip here and go, miss, 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 because acrylic paint dries. Dude, and you're doing really good. Look at Ian Sky. That's like crazy. Look at it. So you got to back up. You can't really see it till you see the monitor. Isn't that great? Back up to Tony because so he'll be like, oh, I did really good. When you're on it, you don't think you're doing that good. When you're on it, you think you just have like this crazy mess, don't you? Yeah. Definitely. But you see it in like in that perspective, and then it's like, oh, I have a cloud bank. Oh my gosh. High fives. High fives. <laughs> <laughs> so back up from your art sometimes it's good to take a picture of it with your phone and just kind of get back from it you see it small or you see it from a distance it can give you perspective into the painting like that you're like doing maybe better than you realize or you know or areas where you like all the time after I see a painting like later I go oh I see that now but in the time in the minute when I'm like up on it I don't see it we're really close on our work here so, so if like you're working on it hard and and then when it starts work putting it down walking away coming back to it again, mm -hmm. being like you can see it. Your brain's had a chance to work it out. And it does. All the time. I need more water. You need more water? Oh. No. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? All right. You're looking good. Now you're like, oh, space. It's fun to paint. It is. It's super fun to paint. <laughs> Who doesn't love painting space? We could end this all finger painting, too, which is really fun. That's a little messy. Sometimes it's nice to use. I'll show you. Like sometimes it's nice to take your finger, uh -huh. and like when you're trying to do like little cloud forms, you can. Isn't that wonderful? Create these little cloud shapes, and especially with the zinc, it like uh, lets me really do this where I can create these. So acrylic has because it dries, it has these really hard edges, and you've got to figure out all these little crafty ways to soften it. You know, a lot of artists use their fingers on their clouds. <laughs> like a lot of them. Did the paint masters use? Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless the paint was like super toxic. But then they used to, 
Well, they used to put the lead paint right on their face. Oh, killed, my God. Killed everybody. What? Yeah. It looked real good, but then they died. So that wasn't helpful. You know, the story of color is crazy. Now I'm into finger painting, so that's going to go on for a minute while you're stumbling. So look, it's gives me this really cool. So you got the scruffy scrumbles, you got the spongy textures, you got the finger painting textures. Oh, I like that. Some gas, little gas bit going off that way. That's lovely. Ooh, is there something in there? So you just see it and you just work on it. The problem not having like an exact reference or image that I'm working from is like, who knows how long this will go on. <laughs> All right, so we have some stuff, right? We have some clouds. We, we have some clouds. We do. we do. We have the basis. Now they need color. So I like, for that part, I like a bristle brush. The issue with most bristles is when they get wet, they get super mushy, and they won't be dry brushy enough. So these are great because they have a synthetic filament in there. And so we're going to mix up some colors, and we're going to kind of color our space. And then we'll stencil in our dream catcher. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. so I'm going to dip my brush in water and definitely drag off the extra. And I may even go the extra step to tap it off on the towel. And let's, I think what we want to start, I like a, like a pink, I think. Okay. So I'm going to pull out my magenta here. Okay. And I'm going to add maybe a, a smidge of my titanium white to it. So it's still a pretty dark color. There you go. That's okay. And just, it, it, these are our clouds, and so we get anything we want out of them. So I'm going to just, I, I'm on the corner of this brush here, and I'm going to just randomly go around. And some of the paint can exit. You can even switch to the edge of the brush. Um, some of the paint can exit what you colored because it'll be over the dark, and then some of it will be over the light which will really help it show up. And I'm going to just make sure that I don't color it all one uniform color. And I'm kind of just doing these little circular motions on the corner of my brush. And my paint load is getting thinner, and so that's like changing the, the density. And if you go right over the blue, you can see that it creates like this sort of deep space. Look, I really like. Pink is lovely. So I'm just like mixing it up. Now the good thing about the um, colors we have, the primary magenta and yellow and cayenne, is they're gonna mix make lovely colors. So if you mix the red and yellow, you're gonna get an orange that you like. And if you mix the red and blue, you're gonna get purple that you like. So I'm thinking my cloud up here, I'm going to every once in a while add a titch of yellow now to it. Because I think that that's going to be super spacey. There. Just a titch of yellow in this cloud. I bet you you're doing a really good job. See, because the dry brushing here gets you all ready for this yeah. dry brushing here. Yeah, it did. Just having a good time. And if you want to lighten it, you can go into the zinc, and it won't pink it. It will just raise it a transparent shade. So I can go into my yellow and my zinc and create some really fun forms. No fun? Slowly. Slowly. And I mean, and if you really wanted to, you could actually just brush a glaze over this whole thing. Uh -huh. But I like, I like the step. I like taking it into the blue and seeing all the different values and colors reveal themselves. Making sure I'm not making clones again. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. is making sure you're not going over it. Yeah, it really can be. When we have chalk, sometimes you can like go ahead and plan out like like a weird lines, like I'll show you, like here's a strategy. You know, chalk here. So like, say I wanna make sure that I'm not like repeating shapes and stuff. I can then trace along here where I'm seeing mm. an interesting shape form happen. 
It helps if you stare at clouds <laughs> and see shapes in them, but see then I can be sitting here like thinking about it, and that way I'm not thinking about the brush stroke, right, or the, and I can just follow that down. Go here. This is a pretty little cloud. I like this little cloud. The one along the bottom. I like to dust them on the bottom. Isn't it fun? Yeah. I'm just making nebulas. Be any kind of color you want. And I like that. Just breaking up this little cloud. I think I'll just. It's the problem, I'm getting all detailed here but I know I'm gonna have a dream catcher right here so it's like oh man I'm putting work where I know I'm painting over it <laughs> so I'll put some of this over here is where I'm kind of making these little gaseous bits and just wiggle a little brush and push it out so how do you deal with a lot of times when you're painting and I'm watching you're painting a beautiful landscape or something and mm -hmm. then you know you're going to be painting over it how do you how do you deal with that well for me I generally want objects to be seamlessly layered over each other. Mm -hmm. And if I feel like brushing around the object, like if we paint it in these clouds first and then try to paint the space around them, it would create this really hard edge. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, John, I need to blow my nose. I need some tissue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. Find it I love these peaches that you're getting. It's pretty cool. Isn't that fun? It's almost like these ones. Yeah. It is. It's just super fun. Yeah. Okay. So here's a trick when I'm when I'm having trouble from my angle, mm -hmm. I, I flip my brush this way. Oh, okay. And then come down where at it. So I can be like, uh, oh do 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 do. This is only works like like if you're someplace you can't move your canvas because other than that you can just constantly move to your right. strong side. Right. But you know, there's a way. <laughs> there's a way to do it. Oh. Hey. Behind you. Oh. Can you mute me? So there we go. That way you can, uh, hopefully my mic is on. Yep. We'll pause for the honking. Honk, honk. That's right, we can see Ian. That's okay. Can I show you? So if you ever get... Is that demo for them? Is it okay if I touch your canvas? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So I have too much paint. Yes. And I'm like, ah, so if I come back with a clean brush, okay. I can just blush this out softly. And it can end up actually being a benefit. It's kind of like that over there. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, that worked out really well. Yeah. It's a brighter spot. And, that would... and, and you would have those. Yeah. Yeah. So it's super fun. And, it, and also, if ever you get on the canvas and you're like, oh, I have too much paint, always wipe off like that. You can totally do that. It's completely loud. Nobody's <laughs> going to tell on you. I'm not going to tell on you. So I'm going to make some more green kind of aqua nebula stuff happening. Because I'm like that. This could be a very colorful space for my dream catcher. Over the blue are super transparent. And also the primary colors are really transparent. They're not very opaque. So you can really glaze easily with it. This is what we're going to do. We're doing the deep side. This is a good way to do space. <laughs> Your side is good for space, man. And I also like using the two blues, like using the dioc and the phthalo in the background. And then when I use the bright cayenne, it pops against this blue because there's such a different um, coolness versus brightness of the different colors. What do you mean? So this was just a little yellow mm -hmm. and a lot of my um, cayenne, mm -hmm. a lot of my blue. Interesting. Isn't that a pretty color? Yeah. And I was going to keep getting more blue, but my blue is really going to show. 
because again, it's this cyan over halo. Dark. Ah. Oh. Dark's purple. The most powerful of all the purples. I'm just wiggling and softly. I like this because it's like you can see that I'm just, like how I'm getting that curve there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going softly and Are we going to be seeing this painting in the uh, off-kilter set? Might. You <laughs> certainly might. We might. Depending on if my cat can leave it alone, because my <laughs> kitten likes to pull stuff off the shelves now. That's a very good game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's great. Love it. Love it a lot. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, I just stuck my hand right in the paint. That's okay. It's the non-toxic piece. <laughs> Uh, actually, generally, I would say most of the stuff is like about just not drinking it or yeah. eating it or getting it on your skin, but it doesn't like jump off the canvas into your face. Oh, I like that. We got a nice little gaseous band and that bright color. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I like it. I'm going to pull, I'm going to make a little purple with my my cayenne and my magenta. They're switching the color wheel for kids. What? Yeah, they're gonna um, actually have it uh, have magenta. They're not only having the warm and cool um, primaries, but they're gonna use magenta. Huh. Yeah. I said I made this nice line, so I'm gonna follow it. What I carved out earlier. On my brush, so I go like that. I mean, stress it out. <laughs> Follow my weird little chalk line. Because sometimes you can draw a line that you can't paint. Of course, that's the worst thing. I'm going to start doing that a lot next year. Is we're going to draw outlines like this and then put them in. So, like, if we're having trouble seeing it, it'll just be there for you. More blue as we go. It's fun. It's just nice relaxing. It's like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like two hours later, you're like, my blood pressure is down. <laughs> I need to take a nap. <laughs> Things are okay in my world. I glazed. I made some space. Always come and mess with me. Well, we're doing something later. We are, yes. We are doing something really fun later. Sorry, I'm so like distracted thinking about <laughs> It's like, okay, you paint. It's uh, I it took me you know what it took me, I think the first year of my YouTube is learning how to paint and talk at the same time. Yeah, it's hard. It's <laughs> super really, really hard. Because you're like uh, what? Oh, right, right. I'm supposed to be talking right now. <laughs> I know there's something I'm supposed to be doing. I just don't really remember what it is. How's um, it going out there, John? Oh, really good. So the big thing is, is that uh, uh, I've been sort of balancing both the camera and the audio work back here because <laughs> you know, like we're sort of hobbling along on like you know, uh, you know, some tin cans and. Uh, oh, really? Uh, on, on, on strings well to you know to keep all the camera angles and microphones working today we kind of are oh i'm sorry so, you know i know i apologize that it's uh, i'm i'm working hard to engineer the show today is uh, well thank you for engineering the show today but that's the only reason why i'm a little quiet is that i'm uh i've been You're like, <laughs> i'm just trying not to explode the youtube channel today <laughs> That's really cool. That color. This is going to go over the blue really nicely. Yeah. It's fun. Just mix two colors. I'm like, oh, I don't know what this is going to do. Let's do something. <laughs> That's a fun thing, right? Yeah. And then every once in a while I like to, to rinse and then get fresh because then I can get brighter pops, which is sort of nice. Bright, bright values that I play with. 
And of course, I made it harder on John today by <laughs> all sorts of complications into the system today. Oh, no, no. No, no, we love it. It's fun to paint with comfort. It is. I'm going to be up here by myself for 12 days live. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, unless everybody comes and then I'll be with the Sherpettes. They come and paint with me. There's a lot, lot of painting. Lots of paintings. <laughs> Lots of paintings to do. That's exciting, though. That's going to be really fun. Thanks. Oh, let's look at our, let's look big for a second. We'll look back and look big. Isn't our, doesn't that trip you out? Weird. It doesn't feel like that where you're on. No. And then, but it is like that when you get back. It's crazy. That's pretty cool. I just made a muddy color. <laughs> okay, you just rinse off and turn over. Yeah, so um, if you had orange and you went to blue, you'd mm -hmm. get brown. Or if you mm -hmm. had purple and you went to yellow, you'd get gray. I think I have a lot of colors in my brush at the moment. It, it probably. Yeah, every once in a while, you got to start brush. Yeah, every once in a while. Be like, oh, I'm starting fresh. I think you should. Yeah. I'm being crazy and got some yellow next to my purple, but I feel like I can handle it. We'll see. <laughs> this is like, I do this a lot where I have like these cookie lessons and these other YouTube videos that we do. Uh -huh. so there's like a secret painting lesson in some of my videos. Because <laughs> I don't really know how to just be talking to people. I'm like, I think I need to paint. And then, you know. If I could paint and happy mail, I would figure out how to do that. That would be. Like this. This little. Right. I really I like to... those pastel colors there in the white at the bottom of your uh, palette. Oh, right here? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Look at that. Yeah, that's what makes these a lot of fun to paint with because they do that thing. Nice. Looked over and saw that. I love the clouds, the way that they're all pastel -y. Very pastel. You could do a whole cloud set in that. Plus, you can you can do a lot with your three primary. Croaks. It happens. Too heavy on my paint. The blue, I'll just soften it back. When I encroach, I saw I like I go. I meant to do it. <laughs> I meant to do that. Totally. It happened. Totally on purpose. This painting is exactly as I intended it from the very beginning in my mind's eye. Uh... There we go. So, the, a lot of painting before we get to the cricket. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. I'm having fun. Me too. These angles are like crazy. I got it. No, I'm like, uh. Like, so I'm just uh, really glad nobody's been blinded. <laughs> That's what I've been afraid of the most is like smacking you in the face with one or something. Oh, we still be friends. <laughs> we still be cool. All right, any suggestions? I'm doing all right. You're doing really great. You might want to go. Um, with like just the, the cayenne blue or just the magenta, like where it's just a pure color and mm -hmm. glaze some of that pure pop in here. Okay. Because they're so transparent, they'll glaze right over everything. And that way you'll get some deep values on top of your light values. Could be good. That is a lot of paint. That is a lot of paint. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. <laughs> there you go. Just work it out. Hard to like relate the colors to each other and being like, oh, I don't want to cross those colors. Mm -hmm. yeah. You really cut like I think on some space projects, I try to keep it into harmonies, mm -hmm. colors that always mix no matter what and with no contrast, um, just to make it easier. But I like these hyper colorful yeah. uh, space clouds. So. Yeah. 
working our way there. Shout out to my mom and my aunt who are with us here today yeah. <laughs> on Thanksgiving. Just sitting here quietly yeah. like they got nothing else to do. They're letting me do this, so thank you to them for hanging out and being such good sports about everything. It really good sport. Do you know, I forgot to say, the Art Sherpa with a live studio audience. <laughs> That's right. Finally, John's <laughs> dream has come true. <laughs> Of the lives, to be honest. Oh. It's like his like it's like his ultimate moment. He also thinks that we should have like a band. Oh really? Like a late night <laughs> yeah, show? Like, oh, like a late yeah. night show. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> you know we can stay here. Don't also like to see the Mets win the World Series. Is that sports ball? Sports. <laughs> sports and some stuff. I was just saying some sports, but he doesn't really know. <laughs> I got a DeFranco shirt, so I feel like I should, like, you know, pick a sports team. <laughs> you know, because you're going to pick a team. You know. Pick DeFranco's team? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm almost there. Oh, my goodness. Looking through. I'm like, uh, where do I want to go? Yeah. You got some docks in purple. Did yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you did. I recognize it. <laughs> and it's powerful pigment. And some titanium white. That's nice. Look at that nice cloud shape. That's like not repetitive or nothing. Look at you. Like, I'm getting it. Slowly. Making it. Work. Yeah. Seriously, like, oh, I keep like looking at the wrong camera. You do ten of these, and it'll be like, I understand these <laughs> tools, and these shapes. It's like amazing. Trying to add pops and surprises here and there. And a gaseous cloud, and a little gaseous things. And I like to, it's fun, and I can always go back with, you know, my um, cloud brush and with some colors to create some harder edges or more defined little spaces. What's happening? I'm just letting you. I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to goof around and let Ian... Resolve his nebula. <laughs> My. Am I taking too long? Mm -mm. There's no, we didn't, we're all good. We have to like fix. Yeah. Or we gotta be on your channel, so. Yep. Which I'm super excited about that because that game is going to be a blast, literally. <laughs> so if you check the iCard, there's a link to this. We're going to be live on Ian, the Off Filter Crafters channel at 6, and we're going to play a game. Yep. I have never played I don't know anything about it. Even though you sent me a thing, I've like yep. made a point of not, so no, I want to oh, discover okay. it. All right. Well, it's, uh, I have not either. So, yeah, we're going to be playing it for the first time together. And, um, yeah, it's Something tells me it's going to be quite interesting. It's going to be... It's going to be that fun. Cool space effect. Is the way it lays down the scratch paint. Oh. Like, you just have to paint this like all by hand. <laughs> it's just not a little lazy to like, can I have a tool that does this job for me, please? Ooh, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I'm liking it. I think I put a bunch of design where I'm going to have a guy, though. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay, I'll just do it in the mirror. This is like the Enterprise to drive through. Right. Yeah. 
Voyager. Voyager. I like Voyager. You like Voyager? Yeah, that's my yeah. favorite. Uh oh, really? I think I may have just ignited in the chat. <laughs> the debate is about to begin of which which one's the best. I, I Voyager is my favorite. Ah, it's, it's my favorite too. Yeah. Especially when Catherine Janeway would come back up after like the ship got hit by a torpedo or something, <laughs> and she'd come back up and her bun was. Oh, it was, that was really awesome. Yeah. Like she's like all oh, there, like disheveled and like. Ah. Forces in space have been a lot for this bun. Her she had a sassy bun before Bunny Meyer had a sassy that's bun. That's true. That is true. Maybe that's where Bunny got it. Sassy bun. She's just being my friend. I I see. Uh... I always enjoyed it because uh, she reminds me of uh, Cinnamon's coffee addiction. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, Janeway was always like, you know, she just needed a cup of coffee. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. She was like, you don't, you're not going anywhere with not, without a real cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to deal with any of these space aliens until I have some java. <laughs> oh, you know what was so funny is um, my aunt and I were watching BBC yesterday, and they had a promo for Voyager, and Janeway was on there with like this burnt, Turkey, she's holding it up, and she was like, "My replicator was set to liquefy or something." <laughs> like that. So even in space, they can't even get their turkeys cooked correctly. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it was really, really funny. I like her so much. Also, I think you couldn't have Kirk in today's climate at all. That would not be an option. He would be like in a lot of trouble. Were being really inappropriate all over the galaxy. Yeah, most of the films made in the eighties were inappropriate. You know, if you just go back, I'd like you think of them fondly, but you go back and actually objectively watch them, and you go, "Oh man, no, no, that that just didn't that no, no, just didn't work." Oh, you doing some tapping? You're experimenting with your marks. I am. I am. Yeah. Like, so there's a whole thing when you take pain class, they talk about marks and the emotional space you're in when you make a mark and what each mark means in relationship to your state and outlook. So when you do these things, it's like meaningful. Your brush stroke is your fingerprint. Yeah, apparently I'm so neat in that job. <laughs> apparently I'm very meticulous. And that's a good thing to be, though. Learn to harness meticulousness. And art at the same time, you end up being really cool. It's great. You just, huh. Yeah. Ooh, that's a really cool deal. Isn't that great? That's just my titanium white and my science. Really? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Some word. Something. I just like to. To break up values and do stuff. Have a little blast in my painting time. It's really interesting when I'm designing versus when, um, you know, teaching on the show. Because I, me I meander around a lot when I'm designing. <laughs> Who knows what I'm doing? Another one of those examples of, oh no! I feel like there's this shape I'm seeing here and I want to just talk about it a bit but I'm not really sure how it's gonna oh there we go like I see like this like kind of fairy kneeling over so oh yeah Very fairy bits. Very fairy bits. Very fairy bits. <laughs> Technical stuff painting. Great! Look at you! Seriously, you're painting space. <laughs> and you know you love it. I really like it, Ian. You're Thank looking you. good. I'm also really liking this brush completely on its side, almost like a palette knife. Look at that. I really like that mark. Where it's just really, it's like really on its yeah. side. And I'm still doing that same sort of randomized scumble motion, but it leaves me this. Get here. Bristle it up. 
Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. I do. <laughs> you know what you're doing. I'm the one that's still like. That's the best time, isn't it, though? Yeah. When you don't really know. Yeah. And you're figuring it out. Okay. You good? I think so. So it can be nice. And I, I'm going to demo it yes. to do another, and you'll like this, another light layer of star. Okay. Um, right? Because, like, there'd be stars, in, you know, in right. front of what we were seeing and everything. So oh, I like I to just add another, not heavy, just a little bit of star. And it's, and it's kind of dangerous at this stage to add it because you could do weird splatter where you're like, ah. Right. But I do like the effect of having that next layer of splatter so that there's some stars above my space clouds. Why maybe? I can give you more. I have like a bunch of it because Michael had a big sale. Perfect. Yeah, yours is really dry. That yeah. would not work. It's going to leave a glop. You should rinse yeah. it out, dry it off, and be sure you dry all the moisture out of it or you'll get a weird splatter. <laughs> Which would not be fun. I'm going to accidentally splatter your canvas, and I apologize. No, that's fine. Painting on your canvas all day for you. No, no, it's so okay. rude. There you go. Look at your splattering. Isn't this going to be fun on cards? All right. Excellent. I'll have to show you how to do the big, big black one, too, before you go. Yes, definitely. Because <laughs> another designer in the crafting market came out with a brush very similar to that. Really? What are they doing with it? Um, they're doing It's the splatter. But like I, I make, and I wanted to try it out, but this one seems like so. This one, it 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 does a couple of things. It does a large uh, dot splatter. Mm -hmm. You've got to I I'll show you I'll show you the whole load and, yeah. and flick, and then it also does another thing. If you get string gel, and you dip it in your string gel cup, you can go like this, and you get all these like strings that come off, and so you can do these crazy crazy abstracts. And if you load it in wet like house paint uh -huh. and you fling it hard at a canvas, it'll do like the most incredible random fling. So this one does a whole bunch of craziness. Some of it I can't really do on the show because it would destroy the camera from there. <laughs> we don't want to do. I that. said no. <laughs> John said no. John said no. So I was like, he's already getting little white dots off from the small splatter yeah. brush. I have to do big splatters and crazy activities like that outside. You know those big uh, no. security domes they, they they had in like you know the 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 mid nineties that were mm -hmm. hanging in all the ceil the drop ceilings. See, I want to get a bunch of those to protect my cameras in here, and then I'll just let Cinnamon go go to town. Go, so be like, oh, I like my cloud today. Woo. That's very cool. We're in the meetup space, like you do. Like you do. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, do you want to add some, like, bokeh? Because we have the bokeh. Okay. You know, and then have the white up here in the dream catcher and the little feathers coming down. We could have some bokeh platters, okay. or we could just have a dream catcher. Where are you at? I, I'm, I, I'm good either way. I'm going to let you be my guide. Well, I'll do some experimental bokeh, and okay. if it works out for me, All right. I will... I will I'm going to get into my red a little bit. And I'm going to put out my zinc because I want it to be somewhat transparent. So I like this wash out, by the way. Crazy. Did not expect that. I like to have some tonality. I'm going with the pink. So I press and twirl. And then when I have a nice mixture, I'm going to come here and... Give myself some, needs a little more white to it. It may or may not add. That's always a thing in painting and you're like, does it add? Does it take away? Space bubbles. Space bubbles. <laughs> you can try one. Yeah, sure. I'm going to do a littler one. I like to vary up my sizes of bokeh. Enough paint on this. I, I'll reload. If okay. you, I'll yeah. reload and let you book around. Okay. With some white. And reload with some magenta. I like the. It's really pretty on the palette too. Yeah. It's just really fun for me. The palette art itself. It's so good, isn't it? Oh. 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 Yeah. So I like to press it in and twist. But you know you gotta be careful. Sometimes you get some bubbles. Huh. Which is kind of ironic. It's 
Yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, good boy. that. In the galaxy, I guess. Oh, that one. Yeah. I like, they're fun to layer up, and I like that. That looks really cool. So, you know, like, sometimes with a painting, it's like, you just want to, every once in a while, just try things to see how it works out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can put some up here, because we're going to have the dream catcher over it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot dream catcher. Yeah. Then I might layer. I like their little transparent so you can see through it. Yeah. Is this fun? Yeah. That's cool. They're really fun though. I really like them. This makes me think of the Daft Punk uh, space scenes. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and we just dated ourselves hardcore. Not that, you know, we aren't just Daft dated, Punk just is just timeless. <laughs> All right. I will okay. hand. Let me load this up for you. All right. Which is a little blue, a little magenta, and some white. Do you like coating? Forming. Yeah, let's get some uh, crazy. See how that's all marble? You should get some good. So if, I'll take your sponge. And what's great is, so there's a hole here. If you had any trouble getting it out, it's the size of a pack of a brush. <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> sweet. You know, you have to show that again because we, we missed that magic trick over there. Okay. So you know how sometimes the um, sponges get stuck in their holder? Yes. Dude. There's a hole. That's awesome. There's a hole. Bottom of the left. Right yeah. <laughs> so cool. What do you know? It, it is. Ooh, this is the hard part. Of so like... it's fun to layer them. I like to layer sometimes like oh. one on top of another okay. to give some depth and dimension to my sparkle. Boker on, like we're making up a painting, it's not like we, we didn't do it correctly. I like yours, they're, they're very dimensional bubbles. Yeah, they're kind of really cool. No, this is mm, it, isn't I that always, fun? I, it's funny because whenever I'm putting a card together and I'm putting embellishments on, I'm like, uh, no, uh, no, uh, mm. you know, Ian, yeah, you know, I like yours has, has turned out to be almost more graphic. Yeah, I think so. I would, I would like, you know, like almost like to see him do lining in there with like white and black lines to highlight things in the. In oh, that the sky. would be crazy. That would be fun. Well, yeah. that would be a step that you could take if you take like white paint, black paint. Yeah. Like white oh, lines. Oh, that was good. That was a good approach, <laughs> oh, yeah. right there. Cool. Okay. Very good. All right. All right. So I will recover my little sponge, and you don't really want these to get dry. So I mean, since we're painting right now, I've got my jar of water. I'm keeping my sponges in so that the paint doesn't dry on them and I can kind of clean them off. All right. I'm going to hair dry really quick so we can do our stencil. Okay. Look, oh, I like, I actually kind of like the book of It's almost like planets. Yeah. I don't know. It's a cool, weird effect. Cool. <laughs> I like them. Weird project we're doing on Thanksgiving. Let's go. So, guys, thanks for joining us. I hope... I hope you guys do some of this so we can see all of your uh, crazy space dream catchers. Actually, this has turned out to be one of um, uh, my one of the more interesting uh, projects we've done. I really like the backgrounds and how they've come together on this. I think Ian's background is really cool. I especially like his bubbles, how they look very spacey, like uh, like little planets, like little space marble planets floating out there. That turned out really cool. And Cinnamon's, Cinnamon's Boca's look more like i don't know like alien space clouds kind of <laughs> i don't know anyway I, I, I love seeing this this is my, my favorite thing is to watch people paint so i have a pretty good job and i love 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 to see all your guys paintings too so please don't forget to share those post them up on all the social media places don't forget to do the that liking the 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 the, the what else do you you like you comment you subscribe you are there Sure, there are other. I knocked it off. <laughs> okay, I have audios coming back in. Oh, 
There we go. My microphone's down. Your microphone's the microphone's down. We got a microphone down. I'm so glad that there's a new mic coming in my life. <laughs> like, needs to be just tape. I love you. You have some water? Thank you. I usually, I, I don't know where my 13 year old is. She's, she's usually my weekend studio assistant. She helps with things like water and coffee, honey. Honey? Mm -hmm. Yes, she's very good. She's been learning to set my studio and clean brushes. That's it's, awesome. It's in progress. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's really awesome. Had a studio, studio assistant. Okay. It's, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> Tom, Tom Sawyer Tom rules, right? There you go. I work here. Mm. Thank you, sweetheart. So these are our stencils that Ian made. Mm -hmm. You can get these patterns, as we said. So we're gonna find them, and I've got, what I have here is low tech tape. Okay. And so this is like, it won't damage the paper or your painting. This is special artist tape, but it's crazy prices sometimes. Here, I'm gonna give you a couple pieces. So we're gonna tape this down fully, and then we're gonna um, probably, hmm, pounds. We've got pouncers. We've got all kinds of ways to put put the paint on. Mm. So I have to think how I want to do it. We have rubbery brushes, thin speed brushes. Do you even have boxes of spray? I do. I actually thought spray paint would be a good way to put this in. Then I th I just didn't want to, you know. If you have spray paint, it'd be a good way to put this in. But, but you'd have to mask off everything outside your yeah, paint catcher. I think it's going to be important to tape this little guy down. But I could be wrong. Probably, you're probably very, very true. Now I'm going to experiment with something okay. and then if it works we'll do that and then if not we'll try a different method okay so I'm thinking what I'd like to do oh you know what you could do you could splatter this Ooh. Ooh. pounds or splatter the splatter could be really cool I don't know. That's, that's a tough decision. I'm gonna start with splattering because okay. I'm excited by that idea okay. deeply Is it and, gonna get in the way? I don't know um, I think what it is, I have to expect a little over splatter, so I'll have to, I would not do this with any brush that I did not, any splatter tool that I was not super confident in, but I feel like I can control oh. where this goes well enough, and then if I get it on there, I'll get you some more of this, yes. so you can be, if you want to do, you watch me for a while and see if it seems like risky or yeah. not, <laughs> and so, if it works out for me, then yeah. you could go too. <laughs> Because if not, we can always come back and pounce it. Yeah, yeah. That's true. But I have enough control with this thing where I feel like I can even look. I can kind of stay even inside the, yeah. the dream catcher. And I like the, um, the texture a lot. I have to wonder if it's like doing a resist as the splatter hits or. So I'm curious as the outcome. Okay. <laughs> I've done things like this. I've just never done this exact thing. And whenever you're painting um, and you're experimenting, which you should do as much as you can, okay, when I'm in areas I'm fairly confident of that I'm going to. Well, I'm looking on the back side and like it's looking pretty. It's looking pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yeah. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Yeah. You can get stencils. Like we made this as mm -hmm. a DOI stencil, but Ian made this. Correction, Ian made this. Um, and this is a nice material. You could use it over and over again. But they have stencils that you can buy that are dream catchers that the strings are what you stencil mm -hmm. and, the, and the negative space is not. So if that would be a look you would prefer. I worked with cinnamon on this one. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay. It's going to make your brush messy. <laughs> <laughs> In the center, slowly work my way out. 
You're fine. Did I just get you? No, I got myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what good news is this titanium white is fairly non-toxic. I mean, I wouldn't set fire to it or nothing, but. Fairly non-toxic. I'm just saying don't set it on fire. Don't, okay, don't heat right. it up to super high temperatures. Don't put it in the microwave is what I'm Don't hearing. put it in the microwave. Don't put it in the microwave. Don't take a match to it. Don't torch it to dry it. This is fun. So I'm interested to see how this comes out. Cosmic mandala. Yes, it is. That's the direction we've gone. Because your vibe attracts your tribe. Does it come off of Apple Watch? <laughs> oh yeah, you can okay. get um, you can get acrylic paint off of anything with rubbing alcohol. Oh, and if it that doesn't take it off, acetone absolutely will. Oh, I don't want to put my Apple Watch in acetone. I think that That's might why be a bad idea. I, you can get ninety one percent rubbing alcohol, which I've never had any acrylic paint really stand up to that. It's pretty much uh, gotta figure out how to get this little guy here. Maybe this is like kind of a star field coming down. I think I'm, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of shade a star field a little bit coming down. It's heavier. Except where the tape is because that's a heart. I could pull this tape maybe. I felt cool by earlier, but I think it was Leanne was saying maybe gold or silver paint on top of this. Could be cool. Ooh, oh. That would be, oh, yeah. Golden makes this fine um, particle metallic gold paint in this product. And it is made with like real metal and doesn't oxidize. And I love that. It's my favorite. Oh, yeah. You got that line there. Oh, my. You've gone really like, hardcore with this. Well, I, I thought it would be nice if it was like stars falling down. Yeah. I don't know what's going to look like that, though. This whole song has turned into a 80s performance art music video. This has? Look it. <laughs> what's nice is it's really flat and it's holding so i can like do this and not you know worry about it lifting which is pretty cool right now i'm like um totally going to the dome pink stars falling in line huh. getting that splatter up this edge is really a pain <laughs> The canvas is all locked in there, so you could. Uh... I'm splattering at the edge. All right, I feel. Uh, I think it's going to show. I think you might need a little more paint. Okay. You might. I don't know. It might show, though. It might be really awesome. I, I, I would peek. Peek and see if you feel like the lines. Here, I'll hold it yeah. like, a couple places so it could. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to peek too. Cosmic rain. I'm going to I'm going to get a tool to peek. <laughs> because I feel like my, my fingers are so this is nice this is your dot making tool so you can make individual yeah. dots okay All right. so that's how that's going to look oh, I think that's cool that's awesome alright that's perfect I like it this is turning and then I did all this nebula work that I just painted over because <gasps> that's me and that's what I like to do Paint over my nebula stuff. Rinse the brush off. Uh-oh. Okay. No, uh-oh. I mean, it's all okay. Like, I was being very... But it's fun. Yeah. But there's just no... This, I'm telling you, there's, like, no splatter tool like this anywhere. Now you can be, like, no. with your card making, going, like, right? wash, yeah, done. <laughs> Mm. What, babe? There we go. Oh, so <laughs> everyone was asking about the really cool stencil thing there that you guys are using. That's that. That's the thing that we have up on the yeah. the website, right? Yes. yes. So we have this where if you have any of the the plotting cutters, mm -hmm. any of them, not just the Cricut, you can use that and put that file in and print that out. And you just grab that there. There, the link okay. is in the description below to the website. Yeah, if you have, if your cutting program uses an SVG file, you can use that file. So as long as you can import an SVG, you can use that. 
I sized this one to seven and a half by eight and a half. Uh, the longer side is going to be the side that has the little loop at the top. So it's seven and a half by eight and a half. And this is a what size can this again? Uh, 11 by 14. There you go. So if you guys know anything about what he just said, I put <laughs> a link to his channel in the link in the description below. And if you don't, and you'd like to learn about how to do a Cricut or how to like do paper cutting and make cards, go check out his channel. He has a lot of really cool stuff in it. I've learned a lot from him. He's helping me with some cool stuff we're doing here with labs and some of our other cool, neat stuff. So he's helped teach us a lot about paper cutting and how that stuff works. So thank you guys. You don't, don't, go check out his channel. We love having Ian as our guest. I appreciate it very much. <laughs> you can go so they can see your process. <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, watch this. I can go. It's fun stuff, isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah, right, I really like it. Let me peek at this and see what Being this messy like. is just so much fun. All right. Low tech tape is our friend. Ooh. Ooh. You did it. You totally did it. You got to do the I did it dance. I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. <coughs> Yeah, and these are just paper. This is cardstock. Um, it's actually 80 pound cardstock. It's so nice. I like it. it. It didn't buckle and it <laughs> didn't weight out, and I really like it. And I would like, I would like do a canvas and like layer these and layer these. like I would layer this effect up. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this to actually stay firm, but you could use this again. Mm -hmm. That surprises me. Probably get stronger with every layer of acrylic paint. <laughs> Probably would. Probably would. <laughs> So um, for the next part, I want to dry our splatters just so we don't smear any of this hard work and that stays like a good clean edge. And then we're going to put in our feathers. Sweet. Woo! So while they're doing that, I'll say, uh, so a cricket, so some, some people here in chat were asking what a cricket is. Uh, and a cricket is a, is a machine. It's kind of like a printer, but it has a little, it has a, a knife inside there so it can cut out shapes on a piece of paper. So, uh, and, and the new ones can actually print color on top of it and print out the shape. So in this case, Ian's given us a little cutout shape that you can download off, our, off, off the website in the link in the description below. And then when you load it into your machine and uh, it print, it'll cut out that shape just like what they had. And uh, you'll be able to use that as a, as a stencil for your, for your painting there. So you can, you can check out Ian's channel and uh, find out more about those kinds of machines. And there are lots of different kinds out there that you can use. Um, uh, he's, uh, he's just got one, one type there, and uh, we wanted to make sure that you guys had those resources of <laughs> watching them goof off over while they're doing that. So thank you guys. If you guys, have, uh, if you, you guys do this, please share up your picture. Really, like, uh, I'd like to see what you guys do with this. this they're doing some experimental uh, flicking with this, and I'd like to see if you guys do that too. Yeah, so... Uh, don't forget to post those up, share them up with me. Love to see them. And thank you for joining us today. You know, that's the big thing. We're just here hanging out, having a good time, sort of doing our artsy thing on a uh, Thanksgiving day. So thank you for being part of our art tribe. We really love uh, love having you guys here. So, and you know, with that, I pretty much said all I have to say. So we can aimlessly meander around the conversation loops of, you know, that there's stuff on our website that you could do. You know, you know that stuff. I talk about that. There's like forums. And oh, look, she just came back. So you don't have to endlessly listen to me ramble about, you know, space filling. What is she doing? I'm letting everybody see it. It's cool. I, I, I can switch cameras. You don't have to. I know, but it's like, it's, that's a, what, this is a particular view. I, actually, now <laughs> I want to do it now. Duck. Like the camera duck. Oh, that's see, cool. So you go back. She stands back up. <laughs> so this is a very celestial kind of dream catcher and, and I, I agree with Donna there's a little bit of mandala in there so we gotta put in our feathers, the feathers? And I, have, I have my chalk my handy dandy chalk <laughs> my handy dandy notebook <laughs> <laughs> so this needs to have like wonderful strings. And we had talked about blowing some strings onto each other's canvas. So I am thinking compositionally, it would be interesting to have a feather coming off here partially on, my, on your canvas mm. and then here. And then I'll take one on lower and bring it over here. Sounds good. But it's going to have like a little white feather coming in here. Great. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to pre draw that with my chalk line. 
to uh, concept that out, <laughs> just in case. So we're doing the line and then the feather? Well, yeah, the feather will be in part of the line. The whole line works on the feather. The feather's part of the line. There you go. So this way, we're actually kind of on each other's... I'm just, like, looking at the shape. I just want to see if my feather shape is nice. <laughs> so, um, you have little two little areas off like that, and then there's a long point, and then you just, it's like a long tapered leaf, okay. is generally how it is, and then it's really about uh, the way you brush stroke it in. I kind of like that where they're on each other's, mm -hmm. it's interesting, super interesting. And then I can do a short one here that um, isn't so long. And then maybe another short one here. So I'm going to have like, I think, three? I don't know. You got to just kind of figure out what do, you, what do you want your feathers to do and what do you want their length to be. And so chalk's a nice way to think that out. So I'm just doing my lines and then my little elongated sort of leafy shape. I think I put in one, two, three, four, five. Because I like to put in odd numbers. <laughs> okay. But you can put any number of feathers that you like. You can cross over my feather. I'm not offended. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go under it. You can go under it. Ooh. Okay. Let's do that. I like that. Let's make it longer though. Okay. Even if oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That way, compositionally, these two are very interesting together, yeah. and then they'll still be good pieces apart. I think that's the whole key to a pairs painting is they've got to be individually good pieces apart just in case, you know, you we're in different cities like right. we are. Sure. There's no feather police coming, so. <laughs> that's fine. There we go. Okay. So these are really blended into each other, which is super fun. I like it. So, I think I'm going to grab a... Uh, I'm going to go with a smaller bristle brush. So these are sort of like Here you go. interstellar space jellyfish that yeah. talk to each other by <laughs> tickling each other with their feathers. There you go. Like, Hello. Hello. And they're Hello. just they're sharing, oh, they're communicating. I just dropped my cap and it went away. All the Look cosmic that stuff they've learned. It about. went way into the corner of the studio. I'm putting out some fresh titanium white for me. Oh, don't worry about it. We're wet. I'm putting out some fresh titanium white for you. Thank you. I, I, I as soon as we move the wall, we'll be able to find it. <laughs> so I'm gonna dip my brush in water and drag off the extra. You can use some of your fluid white too is uh, it can be kind of nice. And I like to come on the edge of my brush. And I'm gonna just pull down. So the, the way I keep my line from being thick is I'm not pressing very hard. Mm -hmm. and I'm just pulling this down like that. And I'm gonna load up a little more white. And come off the feather like this to create the feather stroke. Oh. No fun. So the line thickness on this is that the brush has a pretty decent edge, and as long as you're not pressing too hard. Now, if you you can stand back just for a second, I'm gonna sure. have you. Oh, there you go. That way they can see what yeah, she's yeah. doing there. Yeah, just. So this has got these kind of crazy like rough hairs, uh -huh. and it just lets me imply feather texture. And I try to do the brush strokes like at the curve of the feather. You want, it, want me to demo one more? Yeah, do one more. Okay. <laughs> That's totally okay because sometimes it takes a minute to see a thing. It'd be really weird to just like see a thing one time and be like, yeah, I got it. Not that people don't. I'm going to come here and I just pull out. I'm just going with the curve. So the longest stroke that I make will be this back 
-hmm. And then each subsequent stroke gets a little bit shorter so that it sort of organically tapers to this tip. And then when I come over the other side, I kind of curve the opposite direction. And as I'm coming down, but when it when it curls this way, I've got to transition subtly. Mm -hmm. And I'm just letting it make those dry brushes. Right. You're good. Don't worry. Well, I'm going to get back so you have yeah. room, too. Uh, <laughs> You're good. Uh, You're good. They don't have to be. They're just like feathers. Just making feathers. There you go. You're feathering up. <laughs> Sometimes it's little feather strokes. You know, if if mm -hmm. Ian were just doing this, he would probably take a stamp, his feather yeah. stamp, and paint go stamp, 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 yep. stamp feathers, which is allowed, by the way. I should have told you to bring your feather stamps. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Because you can totally, I have a, um, okay. I have acrylic inks. Oh. Right. Oh, and so you can okay. stamp in the ink, and you can stamp right on the canvas. It'd have to be opaque. Yeah, it's, it's super okay. opaque. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty powerful stuff. You're doing it. It's just, <laughs> your feathers. There you go. You know what else I think this illustrates? Mm. That I think sometimes people feel like you got to have my exact medium, my exact brush to get my exact results. We're using the exact same paint. This is Holbein's mm -hmm. really amazing paint. But I mean, it. there's a whole bunch of stuff about the load of the brush, about the brush stroke. Ours look completely different, even though they're even though they're exact same media. Yeah. So people shouldn't feel pressure that they've got to have something. Very cool. We're making dream catchers. Mm -hmm. That's in the dreams that we have. I'm already feeling healed. <laughs> so I got to let you put your brush in first. So I can put my brush, my, yeah. my um, feather over you. So Judy says it's a lot of fun to see you paint with someone. Is it? Yeah, and I have to say it is too. I'm a little quieter this time because I enjoy watching you get you, what the two of you go. So, <laughs> yeah, and and you could actually, I can just go right over it. Okay. So you can just oh, you can yeah. just go right through, and then I'll just paint my feather over you. No. That way you can have a very comfortable flow stroke. Yeah. I appreciate everyone putting up with. Uh, you know, today we've had a little wonky sound because we're using we we don't have a a lavalier mic for Ian today, so we've got him on a studio mic. Sorry. No, I, I, it's not your fault. <laughs> so, but next time you come, I'm going to make sure we've got a lavalier mic on you so it's a little, you know, so that everything sounds a little better next time. You'll probably be wearing this one because it, like, I'll have my new studio. Yeah, you'll have your which new will one. Be super fabulous. And thank you to all of our our, our, our wonderful perfect. art tribe that made our, our, perfect, perfect. our new studio possible. That's just, you have no idea. Is it okay if I do a little thing here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so one of the things I'm thinking that might be nice is to just carry this onto the canvas a little bit. Oh, I see. And then just feather that a bit. So they're almost touching. Yeah. They're like, they're like friends. We're feather friends. It's weird, but we are. <laughs> We're fond feather friends. That's what we are. Ooh, swooping. And then over the canvas. I'm on your canvas. Invading again. This is really cool, like sharing a canvas it, it, and doing it this way. And then these two paintings will live separately, but yet they're still attached. It is super fun. It could be a great keepsake for someone who was moving away or you wanted to be able to still connect with them. I agree. Sisters, family members. Mm -hmm. Best friends. Best friends. See, that's what's nice about a really good paint is it'll go right over and create its own little layer. And I'm kind of like even getting a little bit into my fluid sometimes. Because it doesn't get any wet. I love the little bits over the canvas. 
Doing landscapes over two canvases is really fun. Oh, okay. Or like cross three. That's super, super fun. Just making sure this looks like it's layered over the top, which is really about opacity. There you go. It's very cool. You good in your feather. So we're taking feather turns. Yeah. <laughs> taking turns. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just hand pressure. So sometimes people don't realize it, but they actually um, have a lot of kinetic force through their body and mm -hmm. shoulder and hand. And so they're pressing in on the bristles really hard, and it messes with their lines. I think, I, I think that's part of my problem is that's happening to me. Oh, that happens like, like I don't, every day. I don't realize how much pressure mm -hmm. I'm putting onto, onto it. Yeah. Eventually, you can really, the, the brush really telegraphs, and you can really feel. That's why um, it's nice to have a surface that you're familiar with. So if you're always painting with stretch canvases, that can help. Or if you're always painting with boards, that can help. Look at you feather stroking. <laughs> you can get some little jaunty directionality. Getting all flirty with the brush stroke. <laughs> right. It's a little bit like calligraphy. It is. Which I was never good at. <laughs> Calligraphy's hard. Oh, that's really good. Okay. That's really good. All right. I'm gonna do another one here. Yeah. I've got this little short dude. This little short guy. I'm right here. Judy's looking forward to some of these uh fall these Christmas paintings coming. Oh, they're going to be so good. Oh, and, and Ian, uh, I am novice, uh, Elaine, uh -huh. she's, she came, she, she's been, she's been chatting away over here and she wanted to make sure that I, I passed along oh, our high fives and hugs. Hugs. She says you're doing awesome. Oh, excellent. Hi, hi Elaine. She, I met up with her and, uh, she's a big fan of yours. Oh really? Um, yeah. She's, she lives in Grapevine. I got the chance to meet up with her. Oh, and, we went to VidCon. Um, what? When you went to VidCon? Oh no. No, no, no. Grapevine, Texas. Texas. So when I went there, she was there, and we met up for coffee, and then I got to go to her Halloween party, and she has your paintings all over her apartment, and it is amazing. Wow. Well, hi! <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that in Grapevine, there's also a Great Wolf Lodge. Yes, there is. Oh, so in a Great Wolf Lodge. Because I, I had a couple of arcade games. Look, it's all like, boop, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see it. Like, Stop it! <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Such a so little... funny. Marriage to John. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, never dull moment. Oh, we have a YouTube show. I mean, <laughs> like, what did you expect here? <laughs> this is very serious art. You have to yes. take your art very serious. We have to take it serious if you're with us, because that's about the only way we give it to you, <laughs> sirs. John, you did it again. <laughs> I just wanted them to be able to see it. They, they can see it. Then you, don't, you don't have to duck. I can. Okay, I just my hat is like really in the way. It's so cute though. Whenever I get you, go boop, and there you are. <laughs> <You're> like... <gasps> <laughs> Not gonna get me again. Boop. <laughs> 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 This is a game we actually play when we're testing equipment, so that's sad. <laughs> well, she forgets that I have a robo cam I can scroll over on her. Ooh. I, you dude, okay. look at us. All right. Look at us. You fawned in it. Sweet. 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 So in your package, you have a gorgeous detail brush. Hmm. As, you know, comes with the Galaxy set, which is so fantastic. Yeah. A good. lot of paint on that Oh, one. I'll get that one. Yeah, you got to even get that more and more out. Yeah. So, um, yeah, sometimes it helps to work them on the bottom of the cup. Okay. And, uh, Is it this one? yeah, you just take the little plastic off. And see that fine, fine point? Yeah. Now I'm going to give you a little more fluid paint because I think that's the secret of a signature. I think I, I live for that. <laughs> <laughs> a great brush. All right. I like a fine point. And they, it's so hard to keep these. Okay, 
So I've got my uh, red handle. So this is one time we have slightly different equipment, but okay. it's basically the same. Okay. I'm going to dip just the tip of my brush into my fluid paint and see how light that is. Yeah. I'm going to find a location on my canvas that does not um, disrupt the composition of the painting. So I look around and I'm like, where can I put my signature where it's here, but it's not like taking away from everything mm -hmm. overall. And I don't know if you have a signature. My daughter has the coolest signature. Honey's signature is really cool. I was like, how'd you come up with that cool signature? Your signature is so much cooler than even mine. The nope. coolest signature. While you guys are putting your your uh, signatures on there, I'm gonna I'm gonna say thank you to all the little brushes who joined us today, and big art hugs and wishes out to all those little brushes who are out there getting over little colds and sicknesses oh. and flus. I know that we've got a lot of them out there. Out there, we got one of our own. Got one of our own. You know, big hugs to Luna, who's lit under the weather, and Millie, who's under the weather. We oh. Give big art hugs to you guys. We love you. I know it's. Uh, it is like where do you put it? If I put it out here. It's just kind of like floating. Yeah. So traditionally, mm -hmm. um, artists generally sign in the lower right. Oh, I see. But you can actually sign anywhere on a canvas as long as it's not disruptive to the piece. Because then the art police come and get you. Ah. <laughs> they have little little sirens and come up, wee woo wee woo. You're in trouble. <laughs> We're gonna take your paints away. No, they don't really do that. I don't even know. That is so cool. There you go. There you go. Signature has you. Uh -huh. So I'm just doing this really vigorous cleaning. cleaning so it doesn't come up on you. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. We did it. What? I like them. <laughs> 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 you guys get to see it. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, the next time we see you will be around 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. Mm -hmm. On Ian's, of course, we're always late. On Ian's channel, it may be a little bit. We got to set up for a game, which is going to be interesting. A totally different set than what we have here. So we got to clean this all up and set up for a game, move cameras. But we're gonna. The link is in the iCard mm -hmm. and on the website, so you can find it really easily. And we'll see you over there, um, where I'm gonna play a brand new game I've never heard of or ever done, and it's supposed to be really fun. And I, I think there might be loud noises because it's called Boom Boom, so. I react okay. to those. Like it is so we'll see how that goes. It'll be a blast. It's gonna be a blast. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other. We wanna see you at the easel really soon. Bye bye. Bye.